We're out here in the American Serengeti with two lion hunters who've not tasted blood in many days. We are tracking a lion, possibly through here as early this morning. The lion hunters have run into their first obstacle, water. They can't track the scent through the depth of the water. But they're attempting. Part of the struggle of being one of the smaller hunters. Cecile has difficulties wading in rapid waters. Using her skill and tenacity, she has made it across safely. As evidenced by the bones below, we are approaching an area that appears likely to hold a lion. bravery of young Cecil shows that she dives headfirst into the potential lion's den. The lion is continuing to use his ability to scale large peaks and water to elude the captor of the hunters. They're pressing on to excruciating conditions. We have ascended this crevasse and feel that we're on the right trail. We're being led by the young one. The lion's trail is leading us up into the hinterlands. But it may be too dangerous to traverse. The hunters are getting very excited. I feel that we're on the right track. They're hot on the scent now. We must be getting closer. There are more and more bones as we travel on. The weather is looming, so we must travel at a rapid pace. The lion hunters have located a frequently used path by the animals. They know that the trail the animals use is likely the same trail the lion uses. We have traversed many kilometers from the base camp. The weather is continuing to decline. Darkness is upon us, and we don't want to be out here, because darkness is when the lion rules. Due to the impending weather, we've been forced to return to our best camp. I cannot risk the safety of these hounds to a storm. We've been forced to head back to our base camp, but not before the lion left us with one final sign. We're attempting to move as expediently as possible back toward base camp before we could become enveloped in the impending storm. Cross your fingers. The young shepherd, Cecile, she shows great enthusiasm and speed, but with her long butt hers, she faces the hazard of gathering many limbs into her butt fur. It's either her butt fur or storm. Though we are returning to base camp, the lion hunters continue to search for the quarry. lightning striking in the distance, which means our return is that more dire. 
the enormity of the precipice is delaying our descent into the valley. Where we seek shelter from the storm, I'm letting the animals lead me, for they have the natural inclination on which path to take. They say it is darkest before the dawn. It appears that the storm may be moving beyond us.